morning, YouTube. Oh, man, I've got a goodie for you today. We're spectating a bronze Arissa. And uh, let me tell you, this uh, Arissa could not hit a spear if their life depended on it. But I think there's something a little bit more exciting is um, I kind of sometimes forget that King's Row has a hole you can fall in. And it's bronze. You know what that means. And if you don't, you're gonna find out. If you enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and share with a friend. Helps me out a ton, helps grow the channel, and shows me that you enjoy this content. And as always, if you aren't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Helps me out a ton. And uh, that's all I got for you. So appreciate you guys supporting as always. And I will see you again tomorrow. We have a Rissa Bronze 5. Listen, I had a bad game day. Played for four hours and won once, and this wasn't even it. I gotta know if I'm doing something wrong. Like, seriously. My spear shots are not the best I know, but I really don't think I'm bronze. I'm at least silver five. By the way, I'm coming to console from PC. Wait, I'm coming from to PC from console. That's why the game total is low. And then I see this. They have won three total games. Chat, do you not understand what that means? If they only won three games and got placed, that means they've had to have lost over 20 games at this point. Skin check. F. Failure. No wonder you're losing all your games. Okay. Took a rock to the head. Sometimes it just happens. Okay. Kind of just slamming a sig... You're kind of just wasting your cooldowns, doing nothing out here. You're just standing here. What are you doing? I'm playing Arissa. You want to know how you play Arissa? Arissa is about taking as much space as you can and doing as much as you can while you have cooldowns. And then when you're out of cooldowns, you're f you've used half of your actually you've used all of your cooldowns before even walking through. You're never going to break a Sigma shield. That's just not how- that's not gonna happen. There's a- there's a Torb on your right. You haven't noticed him yet. He's got pinged. It's pinged, actually. You could go- you could totally go kill the Torb. Like, you could go help your Sojourn kill the Torb. That's a possibility. No? Just gonna let your Sojourn die? Okay. So, you ever seen what a horse looks like? So, here's- here's a good example over here. There's a horse. Looks a lot like that. They put these things on their eyes called blinders, so they can only see forward, so they don't get spooked by anything on the side. So they can only see where they're going, and if somebody comes up on the side, it doesn't spook them. You are a human being. You do not have to have one of those while you're playing your game. You can actually look at other directions. When you said your spear usage was bad, holy, I didn't expect you to hit go for like 0 for 9. Never mind you got the mechanical skill of somewhere above a walnut. Like, you... So, Arissa is about using all your cooldowns until you run out of them. And then you're f***ed. So you decided to run in without any of them! Wait, did you just cancel your fortify? Oh my god. Okay, I've done that. Okay, I'm not even gonna be that. I'm not even gonna be that critical because I've done that. But just so you know, you're so panicked because you're sitting there pressing your buttons because you're going to die. You insta-canceled your fortify. Uh, did you enjoy your one second fortify? Come on, hit the spear. Didn't even attempt. I'm so disappointed in you. You can't spear away. Never mind. Okay. The reason why you are bronze five is because you're legitimately... The usefulness of a Junkrat in the back who's not looking at enemies and doing no damage. That's genuinely the amount of, of impactfulness you're having in this game. You and I, right now, have the same amount of influence on how this game is going. Marissa has fall off. The further away you stand, the less damage you do. Okay. Wow, that's just impressive. You know what, at least the turret doesn't move. That's that's always nice. 
So, not only do you have no aggressiveness, you're too scared to, to, to hold W, you have no tank instincts, uh, you, uh, you're not playing for anyone's teammates, you have no awareness, you have blinders on, and you have the mechanical skill of an acorn. Um, I'm confused on how you think you should be higher than where you are at. Okay, I guess you could use your ults that pulls them in and finally got a kill at least. That's something. And then your teammates get more kills. There you go. That was really not that great, but hey, you, you pressed your Q and stuff died, so... You could finally hit one. Yeah. Why'd you stop shooting? I feel like you also got like so uh uh amazed that you also hit it you hit a spear, it's like <gasps> hit one! in the world am I witnessing? Okay, took out their best player. Nice job. Yeah. Listen, Mike. Listen, man. Listen, man. You and I have the same amount of impact on this game right now, and I'm not even- I'm not even joking. You're just sit- you're just sitting there pressing buttons. This isn't- you're not, like, actively doing anything. You know? So, turn around. Okay, there you go. There you go. That's... Okay, that's a good spear. That's something. Why, why are you, like, so concerned with the shield? Just walk by it. Chat, you know what the, 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 my favorite part of this, though, is? We're getting close to that point of the game. Where people can fall off the map. You know what I'm talking about? We're getting close to a we're getting close to a death pit. That's when stuff always gets real interesting. Nothing worse than a scared tank. Yeah, it's just not fun to play with. If you're sitting like 10 miles back on arguably right now the tankish character in the game, you know, like the most survivability character, and letting your DPS and like supports play in front of you. You just really don't have any understanding of how to play the character. Never mind, like, the mechanical skill aside. And I, 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 there's no really nicer way to really say it either. You know? It's just like, you don't really have an impact. You're kind of just sitting there shooting at their tank the entire time. There you go. You hit one bullet on him when he was 1 HP. That's at least something, but... It needs to be more often. So lost. What are you? I feel, like you, I feel like you try to take the easy way out and shoot the shield because it's at least hitting something. When like normally, not really hitting anything. So probably get some kills. Yep. And it's really important. Like if you're only getting kills with the wristle, like that's like that's not good. Really, honestly, I almost even want to ask why are you playing Arissa? the point, you know? I can't really expect anything else out of that one, to be honest with you. Actually, you did have, your message did have a little bit of a chip on it, where it's like, yeah, you are, you are stopping to talk, type to your teammates. Alright, listen, dude. You were probably sitting there typing to your teammates right now. You're literally AFK. My guy, you've hit three spears out of, like, 40. Okay. You're like Kirk Cousins on primetime TV. You're not hitting anything. Please, stop complaining about your teammates being bad. You are a legitimate spectator in this game. You're not even there. Sigma? Wait, what happened to the Sigma? Did I miss something? Don't tell me. Ah, <laughs> oh, the old skip and a jump. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's that's so unfortunate. You know, un feels bad. It feels bad. Uh, you didn't get credit for the kill, though. Feels bad. I almost want to ask, like, why play Arissa? Like, I feel like maybe, maybe it's. Wait, did your junk just go under? No shot. Wait a minute. Did that? Oh, he went over, right? Okay, he did go over, but I thought it looked like... Okay, I'm stupid. Oh my god, stop fuck this. Please, stop typing at your teammates. Please. It, I'm sorry to tell you, but, like, they are not the issue here. Even if they are, like, not performing to the highest extent, I promise you. I promise you. What did I just witness? What the f was that? This is why I love the death fence, dude. That was so funny. Wait a minute. So they get speared back. <laughs> How does that count as a kill? What? Nah, there's no way. How do you get credit? What? Nah, the Sigma doesn't count and that does? No, there's no shot. Oh, come. Oh, come on. There's no way you see nine this. Oh, I, you see nine because you were too afraid. That's kind of what I mean. Just terrified to hold W. Like, there's no point, like, the point of Orisa is to still play them like a tank, you know? They're just harder to kill because of the cooldowns. So why even play Orisa is, like, my real question. Moira Mercy, Junkrat in the back line. I love ML7 Wow. All right. The, You have a Junkrat Torp. I don't know how you could possibly lose, to be honest with you. Risa can eat an accretion? No, you just fortify. Fortify just tanks it, because you can't get CC'd. There you go. There, there's the answer to your question. I mean, hey, you know what? I mean, this is kind of better, but... You know, I'm like not. I'm like not. I don't, don't want to say like you should be doing more because I feel like if you tried to do more, like because they're literally standing at the choke AFK, I feel like you'd feed. So I don't know if I even want to tell you that to be honest with you. But that was actually pretty good. That was actually probably your first sequence that was actually decent. It's like you kind of pushed them out a little bit and then backed away. Okay, you're kind of, you're, you're cycling of cooldowns is, is just terrible. You just hit all the buttons. Like, playing Arissa is not playing a fighting game where you just mash all your buttons. It's a cycle. You start off with a, with a spinny, or you start off with a spear. Most likely a spear, then spinny, or spinny, then spear. Then fortify, then spinny, then spear, and then hopefully you achieved a kill or two. If you haven't, you're in a safe spot to wait for the next fortify or spinning out, and then you're good to go. Because otherwise, you're just kind of like not really playing. You're kind of just existing. If that makes sense. Just ignored the soldier ult. I didn't really expect them to do anything about it, to be honest with you. But they're also you like nothing in this has been active. There is no proactive plays. There is no proactive thinking about like what you should do. You basically just stand there. Also, fun fact, uh, you can actually use your ult as a second fortify. Because the ult is good, uh, but there's... Sometimes it is hard to use if there's not players to like run into. Uh, you can actually just pop uh, fortify. 
True, it's a 5v4. Wait, what? Oh, they've been down one? Oh no, it was only for one fight. Oh, it was for like two seconds. <clears throat> actually, so that's how they lose that fight. They probably would have won this fight, actually. Yeah, and then they come back. They weren't gone that long. But they probably could have won that fight if they weren't if they didn't lose them. Dude, that Torb line is freaking me out. It's kind of what I mean about like, you know, you start playing too far up, trying to actually make plays. I feel like you're, you're not gonna understand how to get back in time. Maybe eating that boy orb, just being real with you. The only thing is—is is a Rissel the new Diva ult of Bronze? Is it? I feel like it is. Wait, the cast is flanking, right? You're not gonna let him. You're gonna you're gonna go deal with him, right? You're just gonna stand there and. Why do you, why not why do you not help? Why do you not press after people? Why do you let others go deal with it? You're you're playing Arissa, like. That's that's your territory. That's where you just go bully. I'm sorry, but like this is probably why people think Overwatch is boring. Like if you just you see this dark puddle? You haven't left it the whole round. <laughs> like, it's you just you just kind of sit there and just AFK and expect people to to do things for you. And I feel like that's really boring. I don't know how you don't find that to be like boring gameplay. I don't know if you think it's like that's what you're supposed to do, but it's not. That's what you were told to do. Because playing tank is much more aggressive. It's much more like you should be a like almost like a fat DPS. Like, you, you're able to get kills, survive, and also pressure things out. But I also think you don't go for the kills because you're not confident in your mechanical skill because it's somewhere above, like, an avocado. You know? Actually, actually, that's an, that's actually an insult to avocados. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I would say it's somewhere around a walnut. Oh, oh. The classic. The classic. The classic, do you know what you're doing in Overwatch? On King's Row first, do you go out the left door or the right door? If you go out the right door in an actual, like, retake situation, not like, you know, just like looking around, you don't know what you're doing. It's actually a very easy way to tell. Right door is so much longer. It doesn't make sense to go down if it's in a retake situation. It only makes sense if you're playing something like Soldier and want to take top. Right door is your favorite door? Okay, right door is acceptable if you go up the stairs and you want to take up top. And I'll give you that, but that's not what's going on here. Tyrone thinks the prime for two months. Oh, tell me you do not eat a. D Fun facts: you can turn around and, and run away faster with the spear, uh, but I guess you were afraid you're gonna die. Thank you for the content. Oh, that's very kind. Oh, hello. Greetings. Yo, thank you for the two months. Am I neat? These are the prime two months as well. There is. You did not just solo ult a half HP cast and a fucking baby diva. That is the only way you would get kills, is, and you just used it. That's big trouble. I understand your chances of hitting that tire are like net zero with the mechanical skill you got going on. But like, why not at least even try? You know? Junk fell off? What? What do you mean he fell off? Oh no, don't. Oh no, don't tell me. This is what I live for. This is the, this is the good stuff. <laughs> But my favorite though is you have an extra mind. You have an extra mind to at least attempt to like save yourself, you know, like at least give it a shot. And it's just like, nope. I deserve that one. <laughs> ah, that's the stuff I live for.
That's the good stuff. Also got absolutely rolled by a baby diva. Also, a lot of Moira's in bronze, let me tell you. I mean, I probably should have expected that. I thought there would be more mercies, but I guess Moira makes sense. Because I feel like a lot of the lower rank players, like, basically are just trying to stat pad on, like, the scoreboard. Because, like, more healing, more damage means better player. So they just play the high damage, high healing characters and just, you know, try to farm. It's also probably a pretty good tactic if people flame you. They're like, oh, you're not healing. It's like, I have 56,000 healing. You, you know, it's like, it's like, you're not, you're not playing to win. You're not playing, you're playing for ego. You know what I mean? Speaking of which, there's been a junk right above this guy for like about a minute now. And it's not looked up there once. Probably like, Moira, heal me. Died about 10 seconds ago because this guy's been sitting up here. It's like, just literally just like. <laughs> but doesn't deserve bronze five, by the way. Actually, he's all. Hang on. Uh, what did it say again? I gotta, I gotta remind myself. I gotta, I need a little refresher. My spear shots aren't the best I know, but I don't think I'm bronze. I'm at least silver five. I completely disagree. Oh, I love when we get around this part, though. Always someone's gonna... Uh, all right, chat, make your make your bet now. Who is gonna be the next person to fall off the map? We got a minute left. Someone's gonna fall off the map. Who's gonna be? My bet, my bet is gonna be one of the junk rats. Why don't you could have held it? You actually could have held that a little bit longer and gotten some good kills. That was actually a really good play by you, and you you panicked and pulled it too early. That was actually the first like good one. Well, I probably could have went for the spear on the cast, but the mechanical skill of like a walnut's probably a little bit tough. Don't you dare! Don't you fucking dare! Don't you fucking dare! Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, dude. Their back's really close, chat. Oh, no. It's actually one of the few times you don't want to do that, because now you're out of cooldowns when they push you. Now you're playing super defensive. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. This is really, really bad. Oh, that's a good call, though. Where are you going? No, you can't. Oh, no. Hello. Your Kiri, I think, just saved everybody with that Suzu, but you're still going to be in some big trouble now. You have a lot of space on that corner, which is fine. If you, like, actually had a plan, but there's no plan now. Yeah. If you, if you, if you give that kind of space, that's fine, but you have to punish people who take it. You take the angles on you, you don't take you don't punish them. Come on, big ol'. Wait, could have went in a little bit closer and then popped it. Oh no, that was a good opportunity! You actually I'm not even lying, I'm not even joking. I'm actually not even fing with you. You could have actually won the game right here. If you if you spinny spear in right here, you spinny spear in right here, you're already in overtime, and jump on the top of the cart because it gives you fortify, you have plenty of health. You jump on the top of the cart here. You 1,000% are gonna do one of two things. You're either gonna scare everybody off the cart, charge it to 500, or B, they die. But you actually chose neither because you're panicking. And your mechanical skill is not doing any favors either. You're going for the boop off point. I know what you're going for, but like you already, you had the opportunity you actually put the Junkrat in a better spot to go for Tyre. Gets to the spear on the cast. The cast! What? <laughs> like, you have zero, like, zero fear of death and zero fear of consequences. You only know how to look at things and hold left mouse click and press buttons. And, like, if you can't, if you don't think about the game in any way, shape, or form, there's no way you could ever say you're above Bronze 5, because that's what Bronze 5 is. Bronze 5 is literally five players on each side. 
that have very little mechanical skill and zero game understanding. That's why it's the lowest rank. That's the point. You are here because you deserve to be here because of stuff like this. You played like absolute just poop the whole game, but you could have saved it not once, but possibly even twice right here. But you and your Moira will die because you're just, you just don't look for things. You don't look for them. You don't look for squishies. You don't look for kills. You don't look for the four. You don't look. Look at how much time! There's so- Oh my god. It's like you only want to shoot the tank because you're not confident and have the mechanical skill to shoot anybody else. So, the, my ruling is, do you actually deserve to be Silver 5? No. Do you deserve to be Bronze 5? Absolutely. <sighs> Sorry, man. That's the truth.